another week. Back at my favorite bar lips. And flagged again by YouTube. This video that you're about to see is not suitable for advertisers. And, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. I know they've changed their policies. I know it has something to do with the girls dancing, but there's like really almost nothing in this video because it's all edited, it's all censored. What you're gonna see is the censored version of actually what I'm uploading for members only. When I say members only, like yeah, you join the channel, click on the join button, all that jazz. But literally, you can join this channel for 79 pesos a month. That's like that's like a dollar and 15 cents. And it not only helps me out because of the whole YouTube algorithm nonsense and the fact that they're flagging my videos for showing you what's going on in the bar. Like this week's video, six bars in one night, bar hopping. And it's nothing crazy, it's nothing, well, actually, there is some pretty crazy wild stuff, but I wouldn't publish that for public YouTube anyway. I would just show you like, hey, we're in this bar, we're chilling, it's good, this is what the vibe's like, this is what the scene's like, this is what the girls are like, this is what the booze is like, this is food. But the wild stuff, I reserve for the Manila After Dark series. And that's something you'd also see if you join my channel as a member, I click the join button, you'll see a video that'll tell you all about that. But enough of the sales pitch. Let's get on with this week's super edited censored video. And if you want to see the non-censored video, join the channel and check it out. And if you want to see the wild, like really crazy ass after dark. Wait, did I just curse? I'm going to get censored for that too. I, I'll bleep it out, whatever. Yeah, check it out. More crazy ass rain today. But the thing I like about the high street walk in the event that you need to get around BGC is that it has these glass rain shields everywhere so you can pretty much walk all the way from market market down to forks town uh, without having to deal with too much rain heading up to the shangri-la Not that one. Where's the other one? one Wow. Yeah, we were at Lips tonight. But not just like Lips, but like upstairs Lips. <laughs> what, yeah. what did you think of the upstairs? Oh, I want to have some girls right now. Oh my <laughs> god, Talaga. Yeah, there, yeah. Were, there were a lot of. Yeah. Oh, like wow. Yeah. There were a lot of sexy girls upstairs wow. with us tonight. Well, yeah. No doubt. Oh, I mean, the only two or three. Okay. So, my take on it is oh. you know, there's an upstairs and a downstairs now to live. <laughs> now, downstairs is cool, it's chill, there's pool tables. Yeah. Like but but upstairs, upstairs, it's fucking hot. Yes, <laughs> it's hotter upstairs. Yeah, you should have to check it out by yourself. Yeah, you should check it out because downstairs it's like cool rock music, Stones, you know, the good old grooves, like better music. But upstairs it's like it's better gotta, music, it's better got, girls, it's gotta be the sexy dance. girls. Yeah, they, and they, they, they I play swear, like, you're not going to end up your night without getting a girl. Whatever. Wow. I guess uh, I guess I'm getting lucky tonight. <laughs> Splitting from bar number three with these two maniacs. 
can't decide if we're taking the one girl home or we're going to another club. It's only one in the morning on Thursday night, which, believe it or not, is early for Manila. I'm trying to not get killed crossing the street here. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. So, you know, for a long time, I said the weekend starts on Thursday night in Manila. But it kind of starts on Wednesday night, as you saw a bit earlier. So we'll see uh, what time we wrap up Thursday night. I think we're on the way to bar number four. There's this little bar here called Sanctuary. I've never even known it was a bar until we were walking by and the girls screamed at the other girl like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And now they're like, you know, doing their little connection thing. Let's see what happens next. Hey, hey. All right, let's check it out. Casablanca. First time. All right, so we're in and out of bar number four. That's the interesting, cool, sort of weird thing about Poblacion is it's like so many spots to hit within like a five block radius. So they're trying to decide where they want to go now. Like some of them are like, let's go to the chill bar. And the other one's like, no, I want to party. And there's plenty of spots for that. So we're going to see what the deal is now. Let's go somewhere no one else knows. Have you been to a no space? Thursday night, second night of the weekend. I have to admit, I'm thoroughly drunk. And splitting from the premier after hour spot in Manila, right? See the door. Why? <laughs> That's a question for philosophers. But let me just tell you this I'm going home. It's Manila, baby. Party's still rolling. What have we learned? We have learned that when you wake up in the morning and you're still drunk from the night before, it makes that little game you play in life called Every Day is Savage Day a lot harder. It's like, you know, stepping up the level. And the other thing you learn is that if you throw a little apple cider vinegar and a big glass of water, drink it down and take a nice long walk, that'll clear the cobwebs right out. And that when you say every day is savage day, there are no excuses. There's just days that make it a lot harder to get into beast mode. And once you get into beast mode, because that's how you win the game, you might not have your best day in the field, but at least you're in the field, right? Because in life, you're either on the court or you're on the sidelines. And when you're in beast mode, there are no sidelines. So uh, I gotta, I gotta, you know, get this all cleared out so I can go back out again tonight. <laughs> I just kind of think that's funny, bowl hole. Anyway, it is a club in Poblasa, or a bar. It kind of looks like it's pumping.
my bro. All right, leaving the club. Hello. Anyway, uh, I don't know what it was about the club vibe tonight, but it was just not there. I don't want to be like saying, I don't know, ethnic elements were in play, but they were. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? But they definitely were. There were a lot of dudes from one or two countries that were like dominating the whole vibe. And they were aggressive and slightly rude. What can I say? Not a good vibe. Anyway, so we're out. We got a bottle on tap, or on hold I should say, at another bar, because we were there until what? 4 a.m. last night. Well, you were there until 6.20 Yeah. At least, apparently. And apparently there's a video of that, and it's good. Oh, What's up? So oh, so I'm up. Bolero. <laughs> Manila. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe.